Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build the lava and water doors. So these are some doors that I designed quite some time ago and the 1.5 update came along and it broke them. So I had to rebuild them and here they are. These are really simple to use. You just walk through like this, it removes all of the water that's in front of you and then the dispensers at the top activate again and the water flows back down. So how does this work? Well, we activate all of these pistons with a one tick pulse and the dispensers at the top as well. So they have the water extended at the moment when it's in this state and then the pistons fire removing all of the water and it activates the dispensers as well to remove them. And then the same thing happens in reverse, the pistons fire and the dispensers let the water out again. So over here, if we have a look at the lava one, it's exactly the same except lava flows a lot slower than water. So when you come back down again, it does take some time to get all the way to the bottom, but that is just a minor flaw if you ask me. I think it looks just as good as the water entrance. So this is actually a one wide design. If you look at it, it looks quite big, but all of the uh, mechanisms to control the dispensers and pistons are hidden in this one wide area here. And the reason it's designed like that is so that you could have a room on either side. You could have a floor at this height coming over this way. You could have a wall here extending out as far as I am here. And uh, yeah, you can do that on both sides. So if you had two big rooms and you wanted a way to get between um, both of them like this, then you could have all of the redstone hidden in the wall between the two rooms. And so as well as those designs there, I've also got this to show you. I'm not going to do a tutorial on it because my explanation will pretty much tell you how to build it. Um, but what we're doing here is we've got three dispensers on either side. We're powering them with just redstone. We don't need anything else. It's very simple. And so when we walk through, we're going to um, activate those dispensers so they remove all of the lava. And then when we go through again, it's going to activate them again. And so that's really simple. We're using the signs to hold back all of this. And of course, you could do this with water as well. So now I'm going to show you how to build this layer by layer like in most of my tutorials and we have this stripy pattern around the outside of where we're going to be building and the grey wall represents the area that we're building in. Then we have this yellow wall over on one side just to represent the height of the floor and the wall as well. So this thing is 16 blocks wide although we're only going to have two blocks in the middle to walk through so most of this area on either side isn't really getting used because it is also 11 blocks deep and you can see here that most of it resides in the block in the middle so there is a lot of free space that is not going to be used up. And this thing is also six blocks tall and it's two blocks above the ground that the floor height is at as well and so to build this you are going to need these materials. We need 99 building blocks, 8 pistons, 58 redstone, four of each of these different types of items. We've got stone slabs, hoppers, pressure plates, redstone torch, redstone repeater, two redstone comparators, and then we have two dispensers and two buckets of either lava or water. So if you are building this from the ground level, you'd need to dig down to place some of the redstone below the floor level. And so you'd need to dig a trench that is two blocks deep on either side so you could see all of these blocks. And so two blocks over from the center on either side, we have a trench from one side to the other. Then in the middle we have two blocks in the middle and then on either side of those you need to dig down two blocks and then over here you can see a group of four and a group of four on that side as well. So for the second layer we want to place down redstone in those trenches that we dug on the previous layer and then dig down one block where you see these five blocks here and the same thing at the other end and then in the middle we have two hoppers that are pointing into each other on either side like that so the way you place those is you put one down then you put another one facing into it and you're holding shift when you click on them and then you do that like that and then put a comparator on either side and then place down two pistons that are facing upwards. So this is the third layer we're at ground level now so this block here is needed and then you just put redstone down on the blocks either side below then a repeater here on the third setting a piece of redstone and then another repeater and a block and then on top of that hopper you're going to place down a piece of redstone and then a half slab here so then we repeat the same thing on the other side we have half slab redstone block repeater redstone a repeater on the third setting again and then a block at the back and then you just need these groups of 10 blocks on either side in the middle for the fourth layer we're going to start off with a piece of redstone on this block and then a block in front of it with a torch on top of it and then a torch on top of this block that we placed in the previous layer and then a block to the side of that with a piston on it facing into the middle with a block either side and then we're repeating the same thing on the other side we've got the piston with the three blocks a torch a torch here on this block and a piece of redstone at the back and then on top of those blocks we placed in the previous layer put two pressure plates on either side 
For the fifth layer we're placing down a piece of redstone on top of that block with a torch on it and then above the torch we placed in the previous layer we're putting a block and a piece of redstone to the side with another piston facing into the middle with a block on either side and then we're simply repeating the same thing again so it's a piston, two blocks, a piece of redstone and a block behind it and then a piece of redstone on top of the block with the torch. For the sixth layer we're placing this piece of redstone on top of this block then a half slab to the side of it, a piston facing into the middle on the other side with a block either side and then the same thing again, piston facing into the middle, two blocks, a half slab and another piece of redstone. So for the sixth and final layer what you need to do is place down a redstone on top of the half slab on either side, then two dispensers facing into the middle with two blocks on either side, then put a bucket of lava or water into each of those dispensers and then come down the bottom here and on the hopper that has the piece of redstone on top of it place one item, it can be any item at all and do that on both sides and then your door is finished so now you can walk through it and it will work so that is it for another minecraft tutorial if you want to download the map that you see here it's in the description box and if you want to watch some more of my videos there are links on the screen that you can click and in the description box as well so as always thank you very much for watching and i will catch you next time